Welcome to Glue Tarts, episode one. My sister, Katie Cochise. Hello, this is Carl Cochise, or otherwise known as The Cheese. How do you do? Mm-hmm. This show, sis, how would you explain? Well, what do you... we are the Glue Tarts. Mm. And what is a Glue Tart, Carl? A Glue Tart is anyone who has an issue with gluten, physically. If you put gluten in your mouth, and then all of a sudden you're like, eh, it does not feel good. I got a problem. I do not like this. You're a glue tart. Basically, we're in trouble. We can't eat glu gluten intolerant. So basically, if uh, my bro the cheese here and I ingest gluten, we get scaly red patches all over our skin. Yes, folks, it's not pretty. It's pretty downright. It's the opposite of pretty. Yeah, it's not looking good. When gluten goes into our system, it's like like a like a like a frat guy. Yeah. At a place where they sell antiques. Is he uncomfortable? You don't bring a keg like into an antique store. You don't store. do it. If you go to the doctor with any symptoms, they don't know what it is. I think my brother and I have been to maybe God, I don't know, fifty doctors between the two of us. I'm on thir 12, 13. Yeah. Thirteen. They don't know, they don't ask anything about what you're eating, what your diet is. They have, this is allergist or doctors. I've been to all of them. Yeah. East, allergist, Eastern doctors, and Western. Everything. No one suggests taking gluten or wheat out of your diet. And the only, the only way that I got better was when I did that. So it's experiment for yourself, guys. Take gluten out of your diet, see how you feel, and I guarantee you, if you have intolerance, you're going to feel immediately better within the first week. Very, very simple. If you think you may have an issue with gluten or wheat, don't consume it for three, four days. Yeah, see how you feel. And you'll freak out oh, if you good. have an issue. I was taking 22-hour naps. Oh, yeah. My it's bro withdrawal. would not wake up from sleep. His body could not digest this stuff, so he was literally... That was horrible. I know, I felt so bad oh, for you. Fuck. So, today on our first show, we are making gluten-free pizza. I'm pretty excited because... Pizza! Pizza, it's a pizza. It's a pizza pie. It's a pizza pie. The thing about not eating gluten is you have this idea that you can't have cookies, you can't have pizza, you can't have bread. This False. is not the False. truth, guys. So what we got here is Bisquick gluten-free pancake and baking mix. We're not oh, we're not oh. plugging this. If they send us money later, we'd we'll accept take it. it. We'll take it. Whatever. Uh, but we read the recipe for the online gluten-free uh, pizza crust. Guar gum, xanthium gum, agar powder, one horn from a unicorn. We can't attain that we stuff. We cannot attain I, that. I, I could. I could get a unicorn. You could probably I, a unicorn. I got a guy. This quick, four ingre five ingredients. Let's check it out. It's a new product. Rice flour, sugar, leavening. See, that's what you need when you're making baked goods gluten free. It has baking soda, sodium, uh, frostbite. This is the gum that sort of like holds everything together and helps it rise. With regular flour, um, the gluten, the protein actually helps it bind. So this here comes with all that good stuff. And no gluten, we don't want you, bitch. So right now, my bro is making sausage and bacon for his pizza. It should be a part of every pizza pie. You're not going to do bacon. it today. No, no. Uh, we won't get into that no. in detail. I like veggies, peppers, onions. Disgusting. Yummy, yummy, it's good, disgusting. good, wholesome stuff disgusting. for your pizza. Do you know what they say about people who make vegetarian pizzas? What? Nothing. <laughs> They're going to say a lot after I That's how boring time. vegetarian, no one wants to talk about it's that. It's going to be so it's, good. Peppers in your face. You want to see me? You see me? I kind of do want to see you juggle. You want to see me juggle? I swear to God, you kiss the them. smell of sausage is actually my biggest so good. motivator in the. Oh my God, I'm really good at it! We're gonna start with the pizza mix here. We got one third cup oil. Booyah! We got half teaspoon teaspoon Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning. Got it. From Italia. It's Italiano! Believe it or not, uh, it's a seasoning. You put it on the thing, it makes it taste bad. Uh, we got two eggs. You don't need to be a professional chef to know that you have to start cooking differently. That's why we end up purchasing things like Italian seasoning. I don't even know what that means. So with a Bisquick, 
Italian seasoning, olive oil, eggs, water, boom. Making things simple. Making the pizza pile. If it's not simple, we won't eat it. No, we won't. We don't like complicated things. Like the Electoral College. Woo! Whoa! Whoa! Woo! We also like to keep things simple by drinking while we cook. I actually heard that we have a drink of the week. I think we do, Carl. Is what? that true? I think so. What What is the drink of the week? Woodchuck hard cider. So we're doubling the recipe right now. Oil. Mmm. One cup water. Four eggs. Beaten. Oh no. No! Get your bacon away from me! She's making a vegetarian pizza. I am. Important to realize. Because you know why? I like to be skinny and I like to be tiny. I don't want to eat no meat, okay? Mm -hmm. I gotta stay fit. Let me tell you, ladies, no gluten, you're gonna lose weight. The thing about when you. Yeah. Careful! Just real quick, so you and our audience know, uh, the little bleeper, you know when you hear a swear word yeah. on TV and they try to bleep it out? Mine has a delay, so when you when we swear, the bleep's going to come right after that. It's fucking horrible. Can't you just mute it or something? It, it's a, it's a, something I can't correct. Alright, well we won't swear. My computer's a piece of shit. Alright, well we won't swear. Alright. Another effort. We got the meat going on. We got the bacon. We got the sausage. Pepperoni. I forgot the pepperoni. God damn bacon, it. Bacon, sausage, no pepperoni. artichokes. Good Good segue. What? For a little tip here. Gluten-free artichoke hearts. Ooh. Wait, so how would there be gluten in the artichoke heart? Marinated in olive oil and spices, but some of them have vinegar. Mm. If you see an ingredient that just says vinegar as opposed to distilled vinegar, it probably has gluten from what I've found because wheat is used, wheat slash flour is used to make vinegar. If it's not distilled, you're screwed. Distilled vinegar on the thing. Here, let me do a little ding, ding. Distilled. So I'm just baking up the batter here, folks. We added all our ingredients. It looks a little bit runny to me, so I might add just a little bit more of our uh, gluten-free mix just to make sure it consistency gets a little more doughy. What do we? It doesn't tell you how to make the. Is this? Can we make? I just feel like we should. No, we should keep putting more in. Mm -hmm. Four eggs. Half. A, that's a full couple. Oh. All right, we're putting in more biscuits. We want to get the dough consistency going, so we'll see how this turns out. Status. <sighs> dough is still a little runny. We need to add some more rice flour. You didn't want that dough pizza pie consistency we can. Alright, into the oven. Time for the pizza prep. We need pans. Boop. That looks terrible. Well, we'll see how it turns out. I think it, you know what? Maybe it'll rise to look prettier. Well, that's a good technique. Yeah, well. Are you a magician? I am. I'm a pizza magician. I've heard about that. Oh. Well, the sound, the sound effects are, you know, they're not rated G, but there we go. So Sis has set up the side of the pizza for sissies. That's fine, because there's a lot of people out there without genitalia who like to consume food. But for real people and for real men, what we have here is the standard topping on any pizza pie. Nice warm bacon. And everybody knows that you never put only one pork product on any given dish. It's kind of a bad luck thing, you know, like high-fiving an Irishman. Live action. All right, guys, so 15 minutes is done. Let's check out the pizza. Ooh. 
It's looking pretty, pretty good, if you ask me. Mmm. 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 Yo, sis, didn't you work like at an Asian pizzeria at one point? Dude, I did actually, yeah. It was called Pizzeria. Hi! Like, that's no joke. That looks good. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat Rachel it. Rachel Ray's like, what? What? I wish I was a glue tart too. That looks edible. I'm just gonna cut a little. Is it, is it even, is it, is it, that's kind of a crust. That's kind of a crust. It's crustaceous. Is it tastes so bad. Is it hot? <laughs> no. Really? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> is it really that bad? It tastes like... No. All of... Yeah. Oh, no. What did you do? Someone put too much olive oil on it. Well, I've never gotten anything wrong, ever. I, uh, well, I think you might have... have. Actually, a couple of times in your life. Ass. I'll double check. I'll double, um... I'm a little nervous because the olive oil recipe was unintentionally quadrupled. Okay. Yeah. You know what? As long... Oh. Drat. Did you just say drat? Uh, that's still a thing. <clears throat> I don't even know. It looks like a hog's feces. Okay. Okay. I'm sure this is delicious. <laughs> oh, it's so. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't. So, you know. We're, it, it's probably fine. Probably fine. Aesthetics, aesthetics is not something we worry about on the glue tart show. It's it's really about flavor and about consistency. So it's okay if your meal, you know, looks like a rat turd because if it tastes good, <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Throw it up! I mean, the fact, oh! Dude, don't eat it. <laughs> so, um, there's obviously something wrong with the oven. Blah, blah, blah.